Okay, in this next step, we're uh, going to assemble the wings just to show you how they're assembled and get them to make sure they're all good to go. Um, the first thing you're going to need out of the out of the parts, big parts bag, is a bag labeled um, C, little screws, and the Y harness. Okay, so the Y harness is there. Um, the rest of the stuff I'll go over later, um, what's left in this parts bag. But uh, this is the Y harness that they ship with it. Um, it's uh, rather short. Um, it, it becomes difficult, but not impossible, to use this Y harness. My preference is to use a nice long 12 inch Y harness. Um, and this will be in the completion guide. Um, and so it's a nice uh, long Y harness and it's much easier to have the wing up here laid back and plug them in and then uh, put the extra wires. There's plenty of room in this cabin for the extra wires so I'm going to use the long Y harness. If you want to use the short Y harness you'll find out uh, how uh, difficult it is to um, get the uh, uh, wires out of the, from the wing into that Y harness. So the, the wires are tucked into the nice little hole here, so make sure you pull that out. You can see how short that is. So you got to plug that in, that in, and that sort of means that uh, you don't have a lot of room uh, to do that. So I'm going to use the longer wire harness. So pull the wire out of this one. Pull the wire out of that one. And the vortex generators are in place. Next thing you do is to plug um, the Y harness into the receiver and it's the slot that's open between the throttle and the elevator and make sure you got the black wire. That wire isn't exact, the, the, that lead wire uh, isn't exactly black, it's more of a brown but it serves as black. So I'm going to put that into the uh, receiver nicely for me. There we go. Okay, so, and make sure when you get the last um, wire in, make sure that the, the um, connectors on the receiver are nice and straight, lined up, ready to go. Okay, so now we got the wire harness in. And um, not just yet, but in a little while, I'm going to uh, use some Velcro to Velcro that down. I'm going to tuck the long wire of the receiver back past the um, um, servos here, so it's going in toward the back of the airplane. And uh, then we'll get ready to uh, install these. So the first thing I do is uh, put the uh, um, tube in one, end, in one of these, doesn't matter which one you start, just make sure that wire stays uh, um, clear and you put the other wing uh, tube in and uh, again make sure the two wires are not being pinched together and you just hold those together then you grab the, move back here around the camera where you can see it better. So you hold those two together, and then you grab this little um, connector between the two. I like to put the two front ones in sort of a little bit first, and the two back ones in, and then just push nice and straight, and they go in uh, uh, very well. Okay. So now, the wing's going to go that way, so I'm going to fold it back like this. And because I have nice big long leads. And here you don't need to label the Y harness and the uh, wing servos. Just make sure you get black to black. Because it, it does not matter which uh, wing 
servo goes into which side of the Y harness. Okay, and that's just like that. So now I'm going to put this over around here or on the front where I can see and just make sure that those wires don't get uh, pinched on the side of the of the uh, so no wires are sticking out and nothing's in the way that's good okay. and uh, let me get the screws out I'll be right back okay I want to show you the two kinds of screws in there close up this is the um, um, I guess I'll call that the blunt end. This because this is this screw is going into a embedded nut um, in the aircraft, and uh, so there's um, four of these plus one spare, and they're going to go into the top of the wing here, two here, two here, and that's what's going to hold the wing on. And then the other screw is pointed because it's going to go into plastic, and it's it's what's going to hold the uh, wing strut. So the wing strut has one hole here and two holes here. So there's six screws plus one extra, making seven. So you get one spare of each. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, drop a screw on the floor. <laughs> I didn't pick it up with my with my tweezers. All right. So um, I normally don't use the tweezers to pick these up. I'm just being clumsy today. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is screw the top of the um, wing in. I'm going to drop a screw in and give it about four or five turns. That's certainly not tight. But again, I like to drop the screws in and get them started. Not tight, but started. Okay. First off, you're making sure that the holes do line up. Okay. And so. Alright, so um, this fourth one is not starting very well. Let me back it up and try again. Okay, that one is finally in. I'm going to, I'll call it finger tighten these. You don't want to tighten them too much. Okay, so all four of those are tight. I'm just going to inspect the wing. Um, see how tight it is. And um, Okay, so this wing here can still be pushed down a little bit. So that one's not tight. On this side, that one's good and tight, so I just need to tighten this one up a little bit more. Alright, so what's going on with this one here? That one's not tightening in.
I drop the screw back out in my hand so I can look down in the hole. And okay. So this the screw and the bolt that it's going into are not uh, perfectly aligned. Three out of the four are. I'm gonna back these three out a little. Just to loosen it. I'm gonna press this one back a little because that's where the hole was. Okay, now that's tight. So that hole was just, you know, a hair off. And uh, I just had to back all three of them out a little and then tighten all four at the same time. That's tight. That's tight. And again, these are. Finger tight. Okay, so now uh, you don't see any gaps along here, and that's good and tight. Swing the airplane around. No gaps under there. That's nice and tight. So the airplane wing is now on, good and solid. All right, so we're going to turn the airplane upside down and install the the. Uh, um, struts. Uh, I'm going to stop for a minute and get the manual. Okay, um, if you look at the manual here, um, you can see, uh, make sure you can see this, you can see that you're putting the little slot thing in here out in the wing, that's right there, and um, the other thing is, is that there's a an R and an L. Um, so where to go here? That's imprinted on the um, little piece of plastic right here. That's the L for the left side. Since the airplane is upside down, this is the left side. There's a straight side here and a sort of a curved side. So the straight side goes to the front, the curved side goes to the back. And the same is true of this one that says, got a little R right there. Kind of hard to see in the camera because it's just a very slight impression to R and L. But you can see these are, these are mirror image. You got the straight side and the curved side. So the straight side goes on the front, the curved side goes on the back. Now, when, you, when you're done flying for the day, you're not going to take all six screws out. You're only going to take these two screws out and leave these attached all the time. So, um, but in order to get started here, I'm going to put these two on first. And just get them started enough. So that this is still slipping around. Okay. And then get this one started. But it's still able to slip around. And then, uh, then we can put this one in here, and it has a bit of flexibility to it. Now, um, I believe these are structural, although I have seen one other person who owns this aircraft um, forgot to put them on one time and um, flew it and it flew fine. I, 
I pointed it out to him and he landed and put them on and flew again. Sometimes you can forget them because um, he took them all the way off. One of the reasons I don't uh, take them all the way off is simply that you won't forget them. <laughs> what you might do is forget to put these in and I have done that and I noticed it before I took off. So we'll go ahead and tighten these down first. Okay, so these are not going to move, so these are still slipping around. Um, I'm going to tighten this one next. And that's sort of right in the middle of his slot. Now that that one's tight, I'm going to finish tightening these. Okay, so if you're taxing out to take off and you see this thing bouncing around and jumping around, it's probably not screwed on. Alright, I'm going to stop the camera. I figure you can figure out how to do the other side.